Ready to transform your financial future? Join me on a thrilling ride through the labyrinth of investing, where passion meets strategy and success is the only destination. We're not just talking about money. We're talking about love, investing in what you love. But this isn't your typical financial advice. It's a dynamic journey of risk, creativity, and the mindset of a winner. Hey, fellow investors, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some exciting insights to share about the world of investment, and it all boils down to a simple yet powerful principle. Invest in what you love. So, if you're ready to level up your investment game, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's embark on this exciting adventure together. Investment is often perceived as a cold, calculated process governed by market trends and economic indicators. However, in this section, we elevate the concept to a higher plane. Investment becomes an emotional journey, a profound exploration into the connection between financial ventures and the core passions that define us. Our guide, an unwavering advocate for business, real estate, and the allure of precious metals, shares the intimate link he has forged with these domains. Here, we delve deep into the significance of aligning investments with the beating heart of one's deepest passions, turning financial endeavors into a labor of love. Step into the pulsating world of entrepreneurship as we draw compelling parallels between our host's investment journey and the dynamic theatrix of the acclaimed Shark Tank. In this riveting section, we witness how the seemingly mundane world of investments transforms into a high-stakes game, with financial statements serving as the ultimate scorecard. The thrill of seeking out new ventures and engaging in innovative deals becomes a central theme in our financial narrative, showcasing the intersection of passion, strategy, and risk-taking. Our journey takes a reflective turn as we illuminate the deficiencies within the educational system particularly the gaping hole in financial education. We navigate back to the formative days of the millennial money era, where a stark realization prompted the bold proclamation, only lazy people use their own money. Here, we explore the consequences of a financial literacy void and the profound impact it has on shaping financial mindsets. This segment serves as a call to revolutionize educational approaches advocating for a more comprehensive understanding of financial intricacies. Embark on a lifelong odyssey into the art of raising capital. In an era where crowdfunding and modern financing avenues proliferate, our host shares the challenges encountered when one must master the nuanced art of capital elevation due to a lack of personal funds. This section serves as a masterclass in the mindset shift from defeatist declarations of I can't afford it, to the proactive stance of how can I raise the capital. It becomes a pivotal juncture in the evolution of our financial narrative, underlining the importance of resourcefulness and strategic thinking in the pursuit of financial goals. Embark on a nostalgic journey to the pivotal year of 1973 as our host unveils the intricacies of his inaugural deal, a groundbreaking 100 an $88,000 condo acquisition with zero money down. In this meticulously detailed section, we dissect the mechanics of the deal, emphasizing the role of creative financing. This inaugural deal sets the stage for a series of successful forays into the expansive realm of real estate. It becomes a testament to the power of innovative thinking and calculated risk-taking in the ever-evolving landscape of investments. Immerse yourself in an enthralling entrepreneurial saga that introduces nylon and Velcro surfer wallets, initially met with lukewarm reception. However, in the face of adversity, innovation takes center stage as our protagonist identifies a prevalent problem in the market, joggers in need of a secure place for their keys. Enter the shoe pocket, a solution that not only addresses a genuine issue, but propels the business to unforeseen heights of success. This section becomes a vivid canvas of resilience and creative problem-solving inherent in the entrepreneurial spirit, showcasing how challenges can birth innovation. Success begets demand, and demand necessitates financial backing. Our host recounts a crucial juncture where he borrows $100,000 for inventory, only to encounter an unforeseen challenge when his CFO absconds with the check. 
This section is a testament to the unpredictable nature of entrepreneurship and the importance of meticulous documentation in financial dealings. It also serves as a reservoir of invaluable lessons derived from early missteps, reinforcing the notion that triumph often emerges from the crucible of challenges. Return to the core philosophy as our guide dissects the mindset that distinguishes financial winners from the rest, the distinction between uttering, I can't afford it, and actively seeking solutions to afford it. Drawing from a rich tapestry of personal experiences and the sagacity of his rich dad, our host systematically dismantles the notion that financial success is reserved for those with abundant personal capital. This section becomes a profound exploration into the psychology of abundance and resourcefulness, urging individuals to break free from the shackles of limiting beliefs. In the contemporary financial landscape, crowdfunding and an array of financing options have become omnipresent. While our host may not be an expert in the intricacies of these mechanisms, he acknowledges their existence. Nevertheless, he reinforces the notion that it's easy to resort to the I can't afford it excuse, perpetuating a cycle of financial dependency. This section serves as a bridge between traditional and modern financing, highlighting the need for financial adaptability and a nuanced understanding of evolving capital channels. As we bring this enlightening journey into the realm of passionate investing to a close, our guide, now seasoned by 72 years of life, shares a profound revelation. He has never needed money because he learned the art of raising it. This concluding section becomes a rallying cry, urging individuals to break free from the shackles of the I can't afford it mindset. It advocates for the embrace of financial education encouraging a collective endeavor to conquer the world of astute investments. Stay tuned for more insights, and until next time, may your investments flourish and your financial journey be one of abundance and wisdom.